some of you recognize these, all right, the ancient Hebrew letters. However, they've gotten uh, the world or you convinced that the ancient Hebrew language vanished from off the face of the earth. Now, you tell me, okay, what these are that I am about to show you. V and Ta, a vehicle, 1886. A stroller, again, letter V and uh, Ta, 1733. A stroller, okay. Again, a cart. Or our modern vehicles. Roller skates, okay. 1733 or 1735. Letter J and T. A fan. Letters T. T and T. A menorah. Or a lamp stand, okay? The traditional one or the modern one. Letters da and a cup, da and a cup. A crank. Letters da and a sub. A mill. Letter da, a wheel. Letter B, meaning to regroup or to bunch, okay? Hair dues or a hair bow used to group uh, hair together. Or letter B in art, a K, letter Q, right? Q tips. H, letter H, fences. Road signs, letters V to branch out or to split, and uh, T, the stop sign, letter T. Sleep uh, symbol or sign, Z, letter Z or Z. Mathematical symbols, the multiplication symbol, the X. Letter H, it means to host. The plus sign, letter T, to cross or to intersect. The division sign, letter M, to separate. The equal sign, uh, so, okay, so and so, 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 comparison or to make equal, letter so. The minus sign, uh, the, meaning to draw away or to thread or to single something out. Aha. Letter H, the musical staff. The whole note, letter O, meaning it is full. The half note, a fin, meaning a four, one foot. Letter A for the study of uh, angles and uh, in geometry letter ng for the study of trends and degrees and yet they say the ancient hebrew vanished 
from off the face of the earth. All right. Now, take a closer look at their own alphabet. A. Uh, okay. Okay, go like this. R. R. B. B. D. D. L. L. H. X. P. P. Uh, o. O. N. N. M. M. K. The Q. K. K. U. The U. S. The S. Z. The Z. The Y. Uh, the Y. V. V. H. H. Most striking yet, the people speaking the English language are, in fact, saying the same thing and using the same words as you are speaking the Hebrew, aka the ancient Hebrew, only that you don't know it because you are not able to discern the letters. Watch. In Eve, we say okay, going from right to left, mm, D, all right, mm, D, N, and the D. The English people say from uh, left to right, Don, all right, mm, D, Don. We say forty, okay, and they say foot. We say fu, meaning adversity. They say fu. We say m, letter m. They say m. We say f, right? They say f. We say flee, meaning to cut in strips. They say flay. We say bo, meaning to boop this uh, or to bend. They say bow. We say p, they say of. We say flata, they say flag. We say home, okay? They say home. We say na, they say n. We say ble, they say blai. This is a phenomenon not only uh, in the uh, English language. It is, in fact, uh, the same with uh, the French language, the German language, Latin, even the Greek, uh, the Greek language. For history, some of our tribes migrated up north and spread out uh, and spread throughout Germany, France, and the British Islands. They are our brothers who, as I was informed, used the sacred letters to attain prestige, unlike my family group who migrated south into West Africa through Egypt. Their success uh, level compared to ours, I was told, is seven against three all right they made it that that big and we made it that big with seven against three and look at the prophecy so this is what um, uh, the prophecy says
Okay. Hosea chapter 10, verses 10 through 12. King James Version. The prophecy states, I read, It is my desire. This is what Yahweh is saying. It is my desire that I should chastise them. Who are them? The Hebrew people. Okay, our people. And the people shall be gathered against them when they shall bind themselves in their two furrows. Watch. And Ephraim, right? Ephraim as that is as a heifer, okay? That 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 is what? Thought. Okay? They they know the, the secret letters, okay? And loveth to tread out the corn, okay? But I passed over upon her fair neck, okay? The neck here is a uh, letter, uh, they call it, it means the, the life. In other words, not all our people, the Hebrew people, uh, went into slavery or suffered uh, uh, misery and all of that, okay? There is always a remnant among the people of, of Yahweh, okay? So, and he says, I will make Ephraim to what? To ride, okay? That's prosperity, to ride, okay? As I, as I said previously, okay, they made, uh, they, they achieved success by means of the letters, okay? But look at what it is said about Judah. Judah shall what? Plow. Judah shall plow. So while the rest of, of our family uh, has been enjoying success, the rest of our people, <laughs> okay, look at that. Having a hard time. And Jacob uh, shall break his clods. You see, it means there is much uh, work to be done. And there is no way possible for us as a people or for you as a Hebrew to attain success without the letters, without you uh, knowing how to use the letters, the secret letters to your advantage. Okay, we have a free ancient Hebrew learning class on YouTube and the link is in the description box of this video. Go ahead and get your letters, the secret letters, and they have them in front of you, okay? And begin to uh, soak them in and begin to study them and begin to learn their mechanism. That's how uh, you were going to, uh, to claim our, our status socially that's how we're going to gain knowledge back profitably to improve our lives and to change the world, all right? So thank you for watching and see you in class.